Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to reuse the stock transitions that come with LumaFusion to create brand new transitions that look like this. And all without adding even one single keyframe. This tutorial will be structured differently than usual and will contain multiple mini tutorials for different transitions with an increasing level of complexity. Be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss any of them. We'll start by creating new wipe transitions. Wipe transitions in LumaFusion are unique in the sense that the edge of the wipe is soft. This is somewhat difficult to recreate manually in LumaFusion without having to resort to cropping and edge softness, losing part of the image in the process. Another important thing to notice about wipe transitions is that when transitioning from clip A to clip B, clip A doesn't move or change. Let's start with a NumaFusion project already containing the two clips that will be used for the transition. The first clip should be at least five seconds long. The second one should be at least seven seconds long. For simplicity, in this tutorial, all the transitions will be two seconds long. Start by adjusting the default transition duration to two seconds in the project settings so every new transition applied has the same two seconds duration. First, we are going to create this transition. Let's start with the basic setup. Cut the second clip two seconds after the beginning. Delete the left side of the cut. Duplicate the remainder of the clip. Extend the duplicated clip to the left so it overlaps the last two seconds of the first clip. Duplicate the clip again. Apply the wipe up right transition to the beginning of the duplicate clip on the third track. And apply the wipe down left transition to the beginning of the duplicate clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. Now change the transition in the third track to wipe right and the transition on the second track to wipe left. This is how it looks now. As you can see, the second clip transition progresses from the sides towards the middle. Now, what if we wanted the transition to start from the middle and progress towards the sides, so it looks like this. Here's how to do it. Edit the video on the third track and crop the right to 50, so it shows only the left half of the clip. Edit the video on the second track and crop the left to 50, so it shows only the right half of the clip. Finally, apply the wipe left transition to the beginning of the clip on the third track, and apply the wipe right transition to the beginning of the clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. Notice that because of the cropping, the changes become visible one second into the transition. With cropping incorporated into the workflow, you can do some interesting variations. Here's an example. Edit the video on the third track. Reset cropping and crop the bottom to 50 so it shows only the top half of the clip. Now, 
edit the video on the second track, reset cropping, and crop the top to 50, so it shows only the bottom half of the clip. This is already interesting, but we are not done yet. Apply the wipe up left transition to the beginning of the clip on the third track. And apply the wipe down left transition to the beginning of the clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. Now, let's step it up a notch by adding two more tracks to create this transition. Duplicate the clip on the second track. This clip contains the bottom half of the second video. Now, duplicate the clip on the third track. This clip contains the top half of the second video. Now, apply the following transitions to the beginning of the corresponding clips. Wipe down right to the clip on the fifth track. Wipe up left to the clip on the fourth track. Wipe down left to the clip on the third track. And wipe up right to the clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. As you can see, in this transition, the first clip shrinks revealing the second one. Now, let's make the second clip grow, hiding the first clip in the process, so it looks like this. For this transition, you'll need to set the cropping so each of the four duplicate clips shows a different quarter of the screen. The clip on the fifth track shows the top left quarter of the screen, The clip on the fourth track shows the top right quarter of the screen. The clip on the third track shows the bottom left quarter of the screen. And the clip on the second track shows the bottom right quarter of the screen. Now, apply the following transitions to the beginning of the corresponding clips. Wipe up left to the clip on the fifth track. Wipe up right to the clip on the fourth track. Wipe down left to the clip on the third track. And wipe down right to the clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. Notice that because of the cropping, the changes become visible one second into the transition. Lastly, let's see how this current cropping setup works with diagonal slide transitions. Replace the existing transitions at the beginning of the clips with the following. Slide down right for the clip on the fifth track. Slide down left for the clip on the fourth track. Slide up right for the clip on the third track. And slide up left for the clip on the second track. This is how it looks now. So this is it for this episode. Now it's up to you to come up with your own ideas and transition combinations to give new life to the LumaFusion stock transitions. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.